Hi everybody, welcome to ePractice Manager's Weekly Insights, designed to help unburden doctors from managing problems and give office managers and staff proven tools for a smoother running and more productive practice. Now, the most accurate way to measure case acceptance is by comparing the total value of the treatment plan against what the patient actually schedules. We're talking about measuring the dollars accepted. Now, in general practices, the average case acceptance is about 30%. It's not great, but that number can be immediately increased by the actions of both the doctor and those involved in the treatment presentation process. Now, the key message here is you have to be direct. If doctors backpedal because the patient looks or acts concerned about the treatment or the cost, they lower their case acceptance rate. Historically, we know that case acceptance most often happens during the initial treatment plan presentation. As soon as that patient leaves the practice, the likelihood that they will begin treatment anytime soon drops dramatically, almost in half. This becomes very inefficient, particularly considering the fact that you'll then need to schedule a new appointment and represent the treatment plan. Let's look at this example. So the doctor's presenting the patient with a procedure to uh, replace two crowns. It's a necessary treatment plan. The patient listens to the doctor and then says, wow, doctor, I thought I was just getting a, a cleaning today that was gonna be affordable. This is now like $3,000. You know, I don't think I can afford this. The doctor, incorrectly, backpedals and says, okay, okay, I know it's a lot of money. You can let it go a little bit longer, but I wouldn't put it off for too long. Patient says in relief, oh, thanks. I guess I don't really have to do this now. Uh, I'll just think about it and get back to you soon. The doctor just let the patient leave without receiving optimal care. That patient's leaky crown is allowing bacteria to flow through the patient's bloodstream, which we know can cause any number of problems. And, and, and by the way, let's say this patient has a history of uh, cardiac or di diabetic uh, issues, which makes his leaky crowns all the more hazardous. Instead, the doctor should have used a direct and caring approach, could have said, Hey, I really understand, uh, and this probably isn't something that you budgeted for, so I know how you feel. But it's more serious than you may think. Leaving this untreated allows that bacteria from the decay to continue. It's accumulating under those crowns, and that's going right into your bloodstream. You know, you also have a history of cardiac issues, and studies show a direct relationship between dental decay and increased risk of heart attack. This is something you should take care of now and not let it continue. Patient then says, well, gee, I didn't realize what was really happening and the potential effect. Hmm, okay, let's do it. What happened? The doctor was honest, he was direct, and he was caring. If you're honest and direct with your patients, they're far more likely to accept treatment. If your attitude, your body language, and communication are at all wishy-washy or they express anything other than certainty as to what the patient should do, they will follow your lead and not accept treatment. That's a fact. ePractice Manager provides wonderful online classes, job descriptions, uh, scripts, and all kinds of materials to help improve case acceptance. Go to our website, ePracticeManager.com and you'll learn lots more. Okay, thank you.